Kids at the time, I didn't have the four and a half month old, I had like a two year old and a three year old, and they just didn't, they couldn't really connect with grandma and grandpa. And like on a, on a, on a FaceTime. I, look, there's grandma inside that little box. And I thought, what if? And I was, you know, I'm a fan of science fiction television and movies, and I like the Jetsons and Back to the Future and Star Trek. And so I was thinking, well, what if? What if we could beam into grandma's house? What if grandma could beam into our house? What if we could, could, could you know, look at each other, communicate? Um, you know, if you're six feet tall, I want the person to be six feet tall, right? I thought that would be cool. Uh, at the time, I was working for a hologram entertainment company where we were digitally resurrecting all of these late legends to posthumously perform on stages. And I thought, what if, instead of bringing back the dead, what if I was connecting the living? So I got very lucky and sort of like how, you know, Dorothy was walking, you know, down the, you know, the yellow brick road and she was meeting all these really important people in her journey um, to see the wizard. I met uh, everybody that's important to Portal. They are the ones, so it's the, the engineers and the operators and the, and, I mean, the, the brains of Portal um, are the people that you don't see right now, but there are guys in this room that uh, I'm hanging out with that really are behind the, the technology.